Damn it, Kirby. Two missions in a row, no breaks. This sucks. Hey, don't worry about it. Drop in and out, done. <laughs> Chief, Provo One in sight. Drop in 30 minutes, get ready. Got it, Captain. We are ready. Okay, first let's grab our free resource off the Unreal um, Marketplace. We're going to get Paragon Murdoch. We're going to transfer his suit to a metahuman. So let's put him in our project and then begin. First thing we need to do is to grab the um, FBX file. So we'll bring it in. Set everything to zero, all the transforms, extract the FBX, put it where we can find it later, Set up, uncheck all the boxes, export it, then we'll move into Blender. We'll delete the cube and a light, we don't need that. We'll import the FBX. Next step is to make the armature invisible. So we'll go select the armature, make it invisible, get it out of its way. And then we'll start the process of isolating the meshes into three components, the weapon, the helmet, or well, four. The weapon, the helmet, um, the collar, and the suit. So to, to isolate these, you select with your right mouse button, you go to edit mode, select what you want, and then when you get, you keep expanding, hitting control L, select, hit control L, until you get everything you want to isolate, and then you hit P, and when you get P, you'll get a menu that says selection, and you do selection, and that will isolate that particular mesh. So we isolated the weapon mesh, and let's get rid of the, uh, or let's isolate the rest of the components for the weapon. Sometimes there's several layers in these, but you can either delete them or you can, uh, you can keep isolating and make them into separate meshes. So again, select, control L, so shift, select, control L, shift, select, control L until you get everything you want. I'm just going to delete these. So just select them, delete, and do vertices, and that'll get rid of them. Okay, now we've got the weapon isolated. Now let's get rid of the rest of these little pieces that we don't need. Now, the reason we're doing this is because Meta Tailor doesn't support gloves right now, so we got to get rid of all the gloves. Um, otherwise, it'll show up as a blob. So we've isolated all of that. A couple more small pieces. Okay. Now let's isolate the other glove. All the little small pieces. Just remember shift select, shift select, and then control L. Now to get all your pieces. Okay, we've got the, the openings for the hands. Next thing we want to do is isolate the helmet because when we turn the head, we don't want the we have to have the helmet as a separate mesh to fit on the metahuman head. So we're going to isolate that. Okay. Let's get rid of the mouth and the eyeballs. Don't need those. So we're going to delete vertices. Delete. Hit delete vertices. Okay, get rid of all that. So now we have the suit isolated. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, extract the collar from the helmet because when the metahuman head turns, the whole collar will turn and it'll, it'll uh, break through the other mesh. So we got to separate the collar. Same 
process, just select. You can't hit Control L on this because it'll select the whole helmet. So you gotta you gotta select each one of the uh, pieces individually. Just do a shift, select, shift, select. If you don't hit shift, you'll lose the part that you've already selected. So just keep using shift select Do you get the entire collar. Okay, now we have our four separate meshes, weapon, suit, collar, and helmet, and we want to export each mesh separately. So the thing you want to do is, is set the export to auto or to copy and selected meshes and label it appropriately and do that for each piece, the helmet, the suit, the weapon, and the collar. Okay, now we're finished. We're going to MetaTailor, create our project. Select our avatar that we've imported previously. And find our suit. Hit next step. Select the full body. Next step. Then we want to get the scale right. Uh, the key thing really is adjust around the neck. Uh, MetaTailor is pretty good at, even if you're off a little bit, adjusting everything else. So get it aligned around the neck where you want it and make sure that the it goes all the way down to the feet when you do the scale. Okay, once you get the scale all set, get it in the right location, you hit confirm. Then you want to adjust the pose. Again, get the... Uh, Get it pretty close. If there's a little poke through, it'll adjust, but try to get the hands aligned where you want them, the elbows aligned where you want them, and everything else will pretty much adjust. And then the other thing you see in this case, one appendage is uh, got to be separate, so you want to turn the mirror off so you can just work on that one appendage. So get that adjusted right, elbow, wrist, and then make sure the feet are fitting inside the boots. So take the ankles and the toes and move them in where you want them. Make sure the knees are where you want them. And everything looks good there. Now we're going to, again, hit uh, confirm, then next step. Let's take a quick look. It all looks good. Then the next thing we want to do is bring in the collar. So we import cloth, collar, next step. And then we'll get the scale and everything right, get it all adjusted where we want it. Once you get it all adjusted, hit confirm and then next step. Okay, now we have that. We want to move the collar down inside the suit, so we move it below the suit on the left-hand side. Now we want to export it, so we turn the avatar off because we don't want to export the avatar. We name the file, put it where we want it, and export it, and we're done. We're, now we're back to Unreal. We want to import the MetaTailor outfits we just did. Okay, make sure always when you when you select what you, uh, the FBX file, you go to in the right-hand corner right there and you hit FBX file, otherwise this thing hangs. Okay, bring it in, 
skeletal mesh, do the base metahuman for the skeleton, import it, and now we have our suit, skeletal mesh, we open it up and we've got to get our materials from the Paragon character, so we go down to the Paragon Murdoch materials, and we just start lining it up. They're all labeled, the body to the body, arms to arms, etc. And we don't need the visor because we don't have it on this. Save it. Now we're going to put this suit onto our metahuman. So we'll go select our metahuman. Blueprint. Go to viewport. Take his flip-flops off. Go to feet. And clear the skeletal mesh. Then we want to go to the torso. We want to import the skeletal mesh, the outfit that we just did. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Compile it, save it. And there he is, metahuman with the Paragon Murdoch outfit on. Okay, let's uh, get him lined up there so you can see him side by side. And he can change the scale, make him a little bigger. He'll look. If he did that, he'd look more like the uh, Murdoch character. Then we're going to uh, try a little animation here. Uh, always turn off the control rigs so the animation won't work. I have some animation I imported from iClone, but you can get your animation wherever you want to get it. And then you can see now we have a dressed metahuman character. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to go back to our wardrobe. We're going to import the helmet that we exported from Blender. Uh, we're not going to use Meta Tailor for that. We're just going to import it and we're going to attach it to the, uh, to the uh, metahuman. And you can do the weapon too, we'll import the weapon. But the process is the same for adding, we'll call these accessories. So same thing for materials. Select the skeletal mesh, go to the Murdoch Paragon materials and just match up the labels with the materials. Okay save it and now we're going to attach it to the head of the metahuman so we want to okay let's do the weapon um, same thing materials okay now the weapon's done and go to the blueprint we're going to add the helmet So we find the helmet, bring it in, attach it, uh, move it down to face because you're going to attach it to the head. Then go over and select head, attach it to the head, and then you have to do an adjustment to get it positioned on the metahuman. Once you get it in position, you'll compile and save. And then you just use the same process for any accessories, adding the weapon, whatever you want to do. I'm going to take his hair off because his hair is poking through, so we're going to make that invisible. So go to visibility, turn it off. And then if, he, if we use him with the helmet off, we'll just add the hair back. Okay, there it is.